Hi guys, um, I was just working on and preparing the, the, the um, six week Tango Up My Musicality program and I was here practicing, recording some videos and, 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 and preparing all because it will start on the 2nd October and I thought why, why not just share a bit what, of what I'm doing so that you have a, a better understanding of what's coming and of what's going to be included in the program. Um, so you've seen, probably you've seen the, the, the tutorials I have uh, uh, on this, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, um, Tango Online by Rui Barroso. So um, there you see uh, me explaining a bit about the music, trying to, to help you understand um, better the, how the, the, the rhythmical structure of tango is built, okay? Um, now, in the moment, once you've understand it, that uh, on your mind, the next step would be to learn how to apply it, okay? And there are so many details, so, ma so many different things to, 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 that I have to share with you that, that can actually help you achieve uh, to go from understanding the music to being able to actually apply that understanding uh, when you are dancing, okay? So let me just share one thing that I was just working on and I will share you. It's a really small detail, but can make a huge difference in the way, uh, in the way you dance and especially in the way you communicate with your partner, okay? So it doesn't matter which role you are taking um, when you are dancing, because what I'm about to show you, you have to apply it either when you are proposing or when you are interpreting and responding let's put it like this huh? so not reacting but responding it's like answering giving feedback okay which you will eventually end up influencing um, the other person's role in the next propo proposition so it's like a dialogue it uh, you should never see it as a monologue but going, uh, addressing the technique that I was, uh, that I was talking about, what I was uh, realizing is that sometimes people understand where the beat is, but they, they, they don't arrive on time, okay? It's like, okay, I listen to the beat, but I, I always arrive a bit late or a bit off, or especially when you are starting, when you want to start your motion, okay? And this is why, the, the, uh, um, this is why it happens, look. If I listen to a bit, and once I listen, I move, then I will be too late because it's, it's already gone. I listen and then I moved, so it's too late. That's why we always have preparation. So you have to prepare your movement before you actually do it, okay? It makes sense, no? So, for example, if I'm listening to a strong beat and I want to exit on the third, so one, two, three. I want to exit on the third, I cannot do one, two, three, because I will arrive late. When I listen to it, I react and it's too late. So what I do have to do is before starting on the second beat or even on the first, okay, it depends on the feeling you want to also generate on the emotional side of it. Uh, so, and how, for how long do you want to prepare? So you before, on the second beat or on the first, you would have to prepare your first step, okay? How would you prepare this? You would prepare going a little bit back and then forward. Now, going back is not just about, it's not about doing this, okay? It's not about doing this, okay? It's moving your center, the core, a bit into your heels without overpassing the, the a stable position. So you have to control it. So it's a little bit, you go here. At the same time, I imagine that I'm going a bit down. I'm getting grounded. Now, I'm get, getting grounded without bending the knees. I'm just mm, there. So it's going a bit back, a bit down, but I'm not really going down. It's just creating intention, my hip releases a bit so that I have more power on my supporting leg. And then I will use my leg as a leverage by shifting my upper body forward, which will eventually release my leg, my free leg. So I prepare back and grounded, 
upper body forward, so my upper body is arriving into the metatars, my, my, my uh, weight is arriving into the metatars, the front part of my foot, and from here I will release the leg, you see? It's like from the upper body I'm releasing the leg. Now what will happen is that from that moment I will continue and I will push, push the floor using my ankle and my toes. So I really push the floor. Sometimes it's not so much about the knee and stretching the leg. You don't have to go that deep, you don't have to exaggerate that much. So I always like to put more focus to emphasize the ankle and the toes. So I will do something like this. Whoop. There. I will show you the other way around. So I'm here, more or less in the middle. I would prepare going back, forward with my upper body and step. Okay? Now, also, I don't have my leg completely uh, uh, stretched. So I don't lock my, my, my knee. I unlock my knee so that I'm more comfortable. And then from here, without going deeper, without, uh, without bending, let's... Uh, you have to go deeper, but not bending. I prepare backwards and boom, step. So if I have one, two, three, I will do something like this. One, two, three. You see? One more time. One, two, three. So this is the idea. Now you think, okay, but uh, what if I'm dancing on the other on the other side of the relation? No. Now if if my partner is starting forward, this would mean that I would start backwards. Yeah? So if I would start backwards, I'm embracing like this, I would feel my partner preparing backwards. So I would prepare a bit forward, but there's some weight going on, going there in that direction. That's why when I prepare backwards, I have to be, uh, be aware that I will receive a bit of weight so I cannot go too deep. So I prepare and I contain so that I walk forward. The other person would prepare forward a little bit and then when you feel the axis starting to shift, the leg will extend. So the body will take the leg out and from there you would push the floor into the back step. So I will do it again. So you would prepare forward, stretch and push. Yeah. So the preparation exists also as a, f a, 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 or most of all, as a form of communication. I want to communicate that I'm starting preparing my walk in that direction and my partner will listen to it and prepare her body in order, in order to walk backwards. Okay. So preparation, that's all you need in order to start moving. Uh, to the beat and to the beat you chose, to the beat you've listened. So it's about anticipation. Always remember, you always have to anticipate your movement. Okay, hope this tip helps. Uh, and if you want to know more, just uh, uh, send, send, me a, send me an email to info.tangonline, only one O, tangonline, um, at uh, gmail.com. And um, just write, I want to tango up my musicality. You don't have to commit immediately. Of course, I have to explain about the program and I'm happy to do it. So we will book a call, we'll talk a bit. And then if you see if it, 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 if it interests you, then we can move on into the program. Okay. Cheers. See you next time. Hope you enjoy this small tip. Cheers. <laughs>